Hey guys, this is Xenomex and today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make broken text. I'm using Photoshop CS4 for the example, but you should be able to do the same effect on all other Photoshop versions too. I hope you enjoy the video. Right guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file. So I'd go to Control N, or File New, but I choose a faster way, with 800 height, 400. Then I'm going to press T for text. I'm going to type my text in, so you know mix. I'm going to click on the cursor and I'm going to drag it just a bit down so it reaches the middle. So and now I'm going to colour it in orange. You can choose whatever colour you like. Now I'm going to colour the background black. I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool while I'm selecting the background layer, which is locked, meaning you can't move it. I'm going to click it's not um, brown, so a color picker, choose black. Click once again. Okay. So the next step will be to duplicate this layer by going to Control J. Then the bottom layer, I'm going to hide it. And for the top layer, I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to rasterize the type. Then I'm going to zoom in by holding Alt and zooming in with the scroll wheel up. No, you only have to do this in um, Photoshop CS4. The other versions, you can just scroll without holding alt. So moving on, I'd go to the lasso tool and um, if it's not already on the lasso tool, all you'd have to do is just hold down and select the lasso tool. Now I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to start selecting the corners of the italic text. This doesn't have to be accurate, it can be completely random as long as you're getting somewhere near the edges. So now I've let go of shift I'm going to go to the cursor and I'm going to click one of the uh, selections that I've made. I'm going to move it to wherever, so I'm going to move it to the left for now. Now I'm going to make more selections and I'm going to move them more to the right or to the left. Now I'll have to deselect these first. I'll do that by going to Control D or you can go to Select and go to Deselect Layers. Lasso to once again. Now I'm going to pick more selections by holding Shift. Right now I'm going to move this selection. Okay, now I'm going to deselect it, Control D, and now I'm going to start breaking the already broken bits. So I'm going to select the lasso tool once again, and this bit, I'm going to break that, holding Shift, I'm going to get more broken bits, and so on. Remember, to get the best broken effect, basically you, you want to get as many selections as you can. Because the point of this is to make the look, to make the text look like it's completely broken. That's why I have to make a lot of selections, and the more random your selections are, the better it looks and the more realistic it looks as well. Right, so I think I've finished, so I'm going to go to Control D, and that's the broken text. Now I'm just going to add a few more effects. So I'm going to Control J the layer, meaning I'm going to duplicate the layer. Control J. I'm going to hide the top layer. I'm going to select the bottom one. Then I'm going to go to to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. About 4.8. Now I'm going to unhide the top layer. So I get kind of like an outer glow effect. Now, so I can add the gradient, I think it would be better if I can create a complete new layer. Then, making sure that the first colour, which is the top left colour, is the colour that I want. I would right click, and I would choose the one which is from the brown to the transparent. And I would hold shift, so it goes directly down. So if I don't like that, I'll control Z, undo. And I'll try again. If I think that's good, but I think it's too bright, all I have to do is just lower the opacity while having the layer selected. Now for the final step, I'm going to select the actual text, and I'm going to go to Filter, Distort, and then Ripple. I like the amount of 100%, it kind of worked well. That was the end of the tutorial. If you like this video, I'm sure you'll find more videos on my channel. 
Check it out and subscribe. See you later. I meant to say, uh, see you later.